hello guys welcome once again now in this section what i'm going to do is that we are going to solve uh, this district variable question and then we are going to solve this question using just a calculator without like um, solving it um, just using a calculator and solving this thing so now we are giving s values to be one two three four and then five and then we are giving the probabilities to be um, that and then we all know that this is a pmf probability mass function because it satisfies all that three conditions now you know when we are solving the expectancy for this we always when we want to solve expectancy of, of this it's always the summation of the x and that of the p of x but this time i'm not going to solve um, this manually but i'm just going to use the calculator in solving this so how do we solve this using the calculator so basically what we are going to do is um straightly we are going to use calculator in solving this so um what you do is to just go to mode so you press mode so when you click on that the mode here you go to number three which is that and then from there what you do is to now go to number two if you look at number two it is a plus bx a plus bx so you, you, you press on number two you choose number two now from here we have um, a table so we are given s table and then y table so for the first part of the table is x so we are just going to put the information over there the s values over there and then the second part of the table is y so the y we are going to take the y as our p of x so in the first table let's quickly uh, insert in the uh, the data or the information so we have so you click on one you just press one and then you, you press equal to then it enters that you click on two and then equal to three equal to four and then equal to five and then equal to so in this case um, if you check the whole of that you see we have everything to be in touch from one all the way to five as we can see from the question here now after that you move to the uh, the next part of the table so you move to that part of the table you go to the first part and then we say that if s is one from the table here p of s is 0 0.1 so we have 0 0.1 and then you press enter the second one is 0 0.2 and then enter the third one is 0 0.4 and then enter then we have 0 0.01 and then enter then from here we have the last part to be 0 0.29 and then you press enter so as you can see we have then entered all the data into it now since we have entered everything what you do is now um, go to ac so from here just press on ac when you press on ac then you go back to so the next thing is you press shift and then move to one so you press one which is start so when you press one we have this to be um so from here we have type data some variable uh, variance and then regression and then uh, minimum maximum so in this case um what we are trying to do if you look at the information over here we have uh, the summation of s multiplied by p of x so basically we are doing summation so we go to sum which is number three which is number three now if you look at the values over there from one all the way to eight um, you realize that number number five resembles um, our formula so you realize that number five here which is s multiplied by p of x here resembles um, so in this case it is x and y because in this case we are using we said our s is that and then our p of s is y in this case so we choose that so when we choose uh, number five so you have to choose number five or you choose number five and then it's so basically it's giving you the summation of your s and then the p of s and then you press enter then you have that one to be 3.9 so in this case our expectancy is one point um is one point one nine three sorry three point one nine three point one nine so that is the uh, expectancy now how do we get the variance now the variance we are saying that it is the summation of the s squared p of s here 
and then we have the mu all squared so in this case we ha we know what uh, the expectancy here is is this that is what we are to be that so in this case um, from the table we said that it is the summation of s and y so summation of x and y here and then um, it becomes that one squared then we have um, this place to be the summation of s squared and then what we are just doing is to replace the p of s with y as we did from the table so from here um, since this is our expectancy you just uh, press on ac to clear that and then you press on shift and then you go to one and then you still go to the sum so you go to sum and then you select um your um, values here so the first one is um we have s uh, the summation of s squared y so the summation of s squared y in this case is seven in this case the minus um we have the expectancy of that which is the summation of s and y so minus so to select that part you still go to shift and then uh, you go to one and then you press you choose sum which is number three and then we need this part which is the summation of x and y so the summation of x and y in this case is um, number five so number five but remember it is the square of that so we can put that in the bracket put that one in the bracket and then we square that and then that gives us so we have this one to be 1.7339 here and that will represent our variance in this case so you realize that i'll be able to solve this without just uh, solving it manually but then using the calculator in solving um, all of that so thank you very much and i'll see you in the, the next section will also be how to use the calculator in solving the pdf or the piecewise function or the continuous variable.